And isn't that what's great about high school is that this, it's this great age of discovery where so many things are new and you're going through so many changes and it's often referred to as the, the greatest time of your life. Does anybody feel that way? I'm feeling it was a cliche. But in looking back, <laughs> it was one of the greatest times of my life and it went really fast. And at the time, when I was in high school, the notion of being a person that could change the world was ludicrous to me because I was just trying to figure everything out. So people to say to me, well, you, you can go out and change the world, I'd be like, I'm just trying to pass math, okay? So no, that's not gonna happen. Um, but that I encourage you that you can make changes. And it really just starts with having a sense of purpose and a determination. But he had that epiphany moment, that life-changing moment, and he said, from this day on, I will fight so that people will be treated equally. And he achieved his great acts by taking that one step forward into the unknown, even though full of fear, he would stand at the front and march with his people, knowing that he would be subjected to violence. Martin Luther King learned from him, and he would march bravely with his people, knowing that he would be beat up, that people would be killed. But the, the longing for change was so strong, it gave them the courage. And this is a picture from Swaziland in 2010. And this girl, believe it or not, was one of the lucky ones. She was one of the ones that actually had shoes. And she held on to those like a dear possession, even though you can see they don't fit her. We handed out dollar store flip-flops to the kids, and they were running around playing soccer and showing each other these flip-flops like it was the greatest thing in the world. And for some of them, you could clearly see that this was the first pair of shoes that they'd ever put on in their whole life. These reserves are being rocked by a youth suicide and the alarming rate that is six times higher than the national average. Webercray is using a return to culture that was taken away by the residential schools where parents were left aimless without culture, taken from their homes at the age of six, and put into school systems and had their hair cut and their language taken away because they were called heathens. A liter of milk, 989. They can't afford good food, so a lot of kids that I saw had open sores on their face from vitamin C deficiency. Malnutrition reigns on the reserve. You've been volunteered! Chalkboard in the corner, 
And they come from miles walking to eagerly absorb lessons because they know the value of education. special to offer the world and to reflect upon days like this on the good lives that we have and to remember the ones that are suffering and not to cast judgment or a stigma upon them but just to say that they're human and that we are human and that we are connected. So thank you very much and have an amazing day.